Misfits, and welcome to the Misfit Adventurers Podcast, a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons podcast where our group of friends sit around and play one of our favorite games set in our own homebrew setting of Aurelia. I am the Dungeon Master, Amanda, and I hope that you will join us and enjoy the story we have to offer. My name is Mortimer Maxwell Cox. How can I be the same below it? Do their friend impersonations <laughs> again? No, oh, oh, what the fuck is camera. that? <laughs> in the bunny. Uh, uh, you guys should probably roll initiative. Oh shit! Oh, I should. Uh-oh. Oh fuck! Oh yeah! Oh, oh, yeah, we're yeah, fighting, we're fighting a fucking sea fucking dragon. Virgin. Use the bunny dice. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I want to use mine too. While you guys are doing that, I will remind you that you guys are on your way to Glim Cairn. Uh. To seek out a, uh, a potential uh, remedy for Hoots, um, his master, and whatever ails him. Uh, along the way, you had a, an interesting encounter with who you thought was Bloody Jack, but you soon learned that no, Isla uh, is was Bloody Jack, and this individual is Alaric Graves, or Ali, as he was affectionately called. Um, and y'all were able to sort of, uh, kind of get that situation to die down and, and not be as tense, though there are still many questions. At least Isla got some answers about her past. And, uh, Theron also, uh, kind of got caught in a lie right before this, uh, monster attacked. Um, finally... Uh, you actually showed the wanted poster to um, Arthok, and he recognized the individual as looking quite a lot like Theron. This wanted poster for Ronin uh, Command 3. So, uh, y'all confronted uh, Theron with this, and she said that she had no idea who that was, and that maybe it was her sister. Uh, but she's. Um, insight check uh, told her that Theron was definitely lying about this, but before y'all were able to get much more information, uh, a sea monster burst out of the water and uh, started to sort of nudge the boat, and uh, you found yourselves face to face with a sea dragon. Um, so, we should, I believe we've all rolled initiative now, so I'm gonna just put all of this in, and, uh, <laughs> Y'all can chat while I do that. I use my new die! Your new die! Yes! yes. I'm so excited um, you have some now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I know. Club. I know. Can someone I remind know. me how to spell Ronan Kanathri's name? It's I'll probably see. somewhere in chat, but yeah. it could be way My bad. B dice shipped today, speaking of dice. You oh, my, my, shipped, my space dice shipped today as well. <laughs> R O N Y N. Oh. R O N Y N. Wow, y'all did C O N N A N T H R I. Yeah, we did good. <laughs> I'm like bad about it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Can you type that for me, Joe? I'm so oh, sorry. Yeah, that's like a super yeah. good initiative day. I rolled a nat 20 for no reason at all. Damn. You have a plus six? Yeah. That's amazing. You have alert. Yeah, I have alert. I yeah, have so that that's it. Alert like, fucking Thank you so bomb. much. Okay. More y'all should- yeah. No, I'm not gonna tell more of you. <laughs> yes! Okay. Everyone be alert! Alert I have and a plus sentinel. Six too, but I don't have alert. Sentinel's mm-hmm. awesome. I don't know. Sentinel's awesome. Especially if you like pair it with Polar Master. Mm-hmm. God. Like everybody getting in within 10 feet of you triggers an attack of opportunity. That's dope. 
All right. Uh, top of the round is Chi. Shit. Okay. Uh, uh, goodness. Uh, well, okay. He's right there. Um, all right. Oh, I think what I should want. we oh. um should we roll initiative <laughs> for the boat or are y'all just gonna Yeah, we'll just chill. Okay. Um, it's been a while. I'd since have to done. pull up the boat stats. That'll cool. take a minute. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Continue. No, you're good. You're good. I for some reason did not think I was gonna do anything. Uh okay, so I think everybody is pretty close. That's pretty good. Um, and I don't think there's anything I would use that way. Okay. So I think I'll do that. Let's see, what is this? Okay. It doesn't work, Con. Okay. Yeah. Sure, we'll do this. Um, so I will. Who do I want to do this on, though? Okay. I think I'm going to just move back a little bit. Um, and then I will cast Bless. Uh, and I'll just do it at first level. Um, and I will do this on. What is this, a d4 on attack roll or saving throw? Okay. So I will put this on um, Theron. We'll do it with the three rogues. Theron, Isla, and Orlana. Y'all get a d4 that you can add to attack rolls or saving throws. Excellent. <laughs> and that's going to be my turn. Awesome. All right. Isla. Okay, I'm gonna hunker down and really steady my aim at the, um, mm -hmm. what's it called? The, uh, the sea helm dragon. of the ship. I'm up by the, the little steering wheel. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so I'm gonna get advantage on my attack roll. Nice. Okay, so... That's 11 plus 10 for a 21 to hit. Yes. Okay, and that's going to be um, 8 points. Yep, 8 points of piercing damage on that little sneaky snake. Sneaky snake. And that is... Oh, I had advantage, so wait, I get my sneak attack too, right? Yeah, you do. Sorry. Um, plus another five, so that's thirteen total. Awesome. Very nice. good. And that is my turn. Turn. Revan. Okay, so I am going to ignite my blade of the tempest, um, nice. sending mm. sparks down its length. Um, while I move a little bit closer. Let me check distances since last time I got screwed by that. Are you jumping in the water? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I'd sink like a rock. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's fine. And I'm then it could be fine. I will go ahead and cast lightning lure mm. uh, so I need you to make a strength saving throw strength saving throw mm, which one should I will use my new d20 I should not have used <laughs> my new d20 am I gonna love that you used your new d20 <sighs> <laughs> That's an 11. Ah, perfect. <laughs> um, My dad has failed me. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
can I choose whether to pull said dragon 10 feet in a straight line towards me? <laughs> you, I assume you don't want to. Is, I would is, like not to crash it is, into the boat. Does it say? Uh, hang on. Uh, it definitely says... I know you Succeed do. or be pulled up to 10, up to 10 feet. Oh, we're good. We're good. Up to 10 feet. Up to 10 feet. So I'm going to pull it zero feet <laughs> forward. <laughs> um, and we have 2d8 of lightning damage. Fuck yeah. Ooh. That is... Hold on, let me... I got a 14. Now, does my blades modifiers affect that or no? New uh, question. What do you mean? I think I get plus one on, Hang on. I'm damage up, rolls. I'm pulling up your, your character sheet. Okay. All right, Blade of the Tempest. That should not be a plus two to hit. That should probably be, uh, well, should at least down be at a the plus bottom where it says plus one bonus. It should be at least a plus four to hit. Oh, wait! I don't have to hit though, right? Because it failed. Oh, because of the lightning lord. Sorry. Um, you're you're asking yeah. if um. Sorry, what's the question? If it gets plus one to damage? The down at the bottom, the bonus to attack and damage rolls. Bonus. Does that affect the spell cast from the blade? Or just like slashes made with it? I think that's that's for that's just for like if you're doing a melee attack with it. Okay. So no. then fourteen. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Fourteen damage. Awesome. Sorry about that. Getting back and in the swing. That ends my turn. Cool. Uh Theron. If that's even your name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking um, Theron is going to use Ray of Sickness on the dragon and hope it hits. That should hit. That's a 19 plus 6, 25. Yes. Um, so that's 11 plus 3. That's 14 damage. 14. Um, and then I need a con saving throw also. What type of damage was that? Uh, it was, um, shoot, is this poison, poison damage. And a con save. Yes. Let's roll the chunk. Oh my god. Are you kidding? <laughs> not one. <laughs> okay, so. I hate uh, 2023. This year sucks. <laughs> the dragon is poisoned until the end of my next turn. Fucking damn it! <laughs> Fuck yeah! And then I'm gonna just go back away from the edge of the boat. <laughs> Get far wow. away. Yeah, I'm gonna poison uh, it and then I'm gonna well, go back. <laughs> I have a 10 foot reach, so if you move back, I get an attack of opportunity. Okay, so she's still gonna go back. <laughs> go for it. You scoot she's, back. Okay. And I'm gonna try to attack. I, I feel like it's gonna go for me either way. So. With, oh, for sure. That's gonna. What do I get? What, I'm gonna try to hit you with my tail. I'm not gonna roll that die again. I'll roll. <laughs> I'm poisoned, so that's fun. Yeah, it's a disadvantage, baby. Just... <laughs> Does a 13 hit? It barely misses. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm I'm picturing Optimus Prime alone in the woods right now. So let's let's not just leave <laughs> anybody um, all by themselves. Um. All right, Darren. Okay. 
So for my action, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> dismiss Pancake to a pocket dimension. Oh, Keep see. him safe. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm gonna. <laughs> you don't want to have to re- pay to resummon mm-hmm. Pancake. I mean, it's it's not about the money. It's I know about I've given y'all dying. so much. It's not about <laughs> the money anymore. Uh, so I'm going to. It's just the trauma. Twenty. <laughs> And then that's another ten. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of hang out up here, oh, and I will give uh, Bardic Inspiration to uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if there's a okay at sixty feet. That's fine. Uh, to Orlana, so you get one d eight. Thank you. You can add to shit. That's my turn. Cool. Orlana. Um. Okay. So, I want to. Let's see. Where am I? Okay, I'm right over there. Um. Oh my gosh, guys! I've been forgetting a very important thing. Oh no. It's fine. I'll I'll do it here in a second. Okay. Um, I want to use my short bow. <laughs> okay. It, or at least try. Um, 13 to hit. A 13 is going to miss, unfortunately. You also, you have bless up right now, so you can add a d4. Yes, yeah, so you always get to roll oh, yeah. an extra d4. <laughs> And then you also have inspiration. Oh. Yeah, you also have inspiration. <laughs> that's true. Okay, so what's the D4? I got a four, so that's a 17. 17 just hits. Yeah. <laughs> Good for yeah. you. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> thank you for being so supportive and so happy for mm. me. I just need thank yeah. you. Chugs um, <laughs> okay, well, that's six points of damage. Six. For the slithery boy. Slithery boy. That's a good descriptor. <laughs> Does that complete your turn? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I uh, just realized that I have legendary actions. <laughs> so I'm going to use I wondered. That's, I wondered I if they expecting. Did. Yeah. Oh, no. I know. It's fine. I'm allowed to be an idiot. Um, all right. So, um... <laughs> This danger noodle is gonna slither his little uh, <laughs> head um, up just a little bit, and I will try to. Mm-hmm. I will. Uh, I'll try to smack. Um, try to sm- wait. Ooh, wait, actually, can I do that? I'll do that on my actual turn. All right, um, I'll do, I'll try to do a tail attack against, um, Revan. And I will roll, uh, which one's gonna fail me the least? Hmm. I shouldn't, hmm. You know what, let's do... Roll that first one again. Shut up. Let's do this. Okay, okay, okay. 24 to hit. That hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shocker. Shocker. And I will roll these guys. That is 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, that's his legendary action. Now I'm going to take my actual turn. Um, and I'm a spit. Ew. Yes. Um. Bitters or quitters. 
Let's, let's do a little spit right here. I'm gonna spit a glob of acidic poison. Mm. And I need all of you to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Does that include people with poison immunities? Well, you still make the... you. I mean, it's not gonna matter, but I guess technically you still try to see if you can dodge the spit, but... Okay. It's probably not. Well, and it might not be poison. It might be oh, acid, which is different. Mm. Oh. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, those are different damage types. Uh. Sorry. What throw? Uh, deck save. Caroline, remember you get a D four too. Yeah. All the rogues, you got a D four right now. Uh, I mean, unless 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 this breaks my concentration. So we'll see. <laughs> um. All right. Did anybody make um, below a 16? Me. I did. All right. No. So Joe and Claudia or Orlana and... Nope. Chi and Revan. Mm -mm. Yeah. Orlana succeeded. Um, okay. So on the fail, you'll get half as much damage. So let me roll these guys. On the success. <laughs> on this... Yes. God. I would love to get half damage. Jeez. <laughs> Man, it is such a struggle to be alive, I'm telling you. Um, mm. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just grab some of these other guys. Uh, uh, six, seven. Well, that felt good. Um, Jesus. Fourteen. 18, 24, Jesus, 29, 30, 30 points. Joe's face. Ooh, okay, you're gonna like this, Joe. 30 points of poison damage plus. I gotta roll another thing. Okay, so that's. Hang on, I'm gonna write this down before I forget. So that's 30 poison. Then I gotta roll these things. Eight, four, two, four, six, seven, eight, twelve, eighteen. Plus 18 points of acid damage. So. For the success, that's 15 poison and 9 acid. Alright, so your cleric is down. <laughs> I'm right behind you. <laughs> um, and <clears throat> I'm gonna slither up Ooh. to the side just a little bit. Hold on. Hold so on. we don't have our d4s anymore, rogues. <laughs> oh yeah, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am hanging on for dear life. Okay. That oh, is no. my turn. Hoots. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> that was just the first turn. Um. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Revan didn't go down first. <laughs> <laughs> but he might go down second. Oh, no. Um, I'm so. Is it is it just Chi who's down currently? It's me and Revan. Okay. Hmm. Or no, or no, you're not down yet. I'm not. Oh, I thought you were down. Revan is holding on for I'm right life. behind you, but I'm not okay. there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. It's just me. I think I'm just gonna go straight up to the snaky beast and stab him with the spear. Mm -hmm. 16 to hit. 16 just misses. Ay ay ay. Um and you know what? I'm going to <sighs> I'm going to stay in front of it and cast uh, as a, uh expend a key point and cast patient defense. Um, spend one key point to take the dodge action as a bonus action on your turn. And I will stand right beside Revan. Okay. Be there for him. 
<laughs> I will. Use my owl right there. I'll I'll use my my last legendary action for this round um, to of um, try to attack you. You took the dodge action though, so mm -hmm. does that mean I have disadvantage? Well, I already have disadvantage and poisons. Um, <laughs> So I might not hit you. Uh, let's find out. Does mm. uh, a 14 hit? Oh, just misses. Perfect. Woo! Good. Me and, me and the snake are so in tune. <laughs> uh, Chi, I need you to make a death saving throw. That's a 16. There's a success. Good job. Isla. Okay, it's already engaged with someone, so I get sneak attack regardless and advantage. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna roll to attack it with my short bow again. First one's a nat one, so hey, we got use out of the fuck dice already. <laughs> um, second roll. The audience isn't gonna have any clue what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be like, what the um, hell? I was gifted for Christmas a die where the nat one says fuck, so you know, had a great Man, time. I think it would have been funny if you just left it up to imagination. <laughs> no context. Oh, well, in you the can fuck cut dice. that out. Um, you do Fines. the editing. I'm sure that just demonetized this video. <laughs> <laughs> 13 plus 10 for a 23 to hit. Uh, 23 does hit, of course. Okay. I gotta find this and die then... to fill before mommy eats it. Um, that's 11, 12, 13, 14, plus 5 is 19 points of piercing damage. Now, I will say, this guy, he's definitely showing some hurt. I mean, he's not on death's door or anything, but like, yeah. He's For a quick it. bonus action, can I try to like, jostle the boat to like, make it, maybe fall back in the sea? Um, I... So, you might not understand how boats work, but this is a large galleon ship, so moving the helm just a little, like, wiggling the helm right and left isn't exactly... That's not, like... <laughs> that's not making the boat jostle. I mean, I would do it more than just like this. I would do like a this, you know? I... I don't think it's gonna work that way. I appreciate okay, your, um... <laughs> Your imagination, but I that's not a <laughs> that's, not that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, then that's my turn. <laughs> uh, Revan. Um, Chi, you're still down. I am still down. Yes. Um, oh, because you got skipped. Oof. Okay. Um, I am going to cast Cure Wounds at second level on chi so that's you got 17 hit points back nice. appreciate that thank you um and then i oh i don't want to move away from it hmm. I mean, you can if you want Okay. Mind. Yeah, I know you wouldn't. <laughs> um, I am going to, for my bonus action, cast Healing Word on myself. Probably a good move. And get eight points back. Respect. Um. Yeah, I'm going to take a legendary action. Oh. And, um, let's see, what do I want to go for? Going for hoots. Um, all right, I'm gonna try to attack you with my tail. Bring it. Uh, it's a 13. Great, absolutely misses. Mm. All right, all right, Theron. Um, I'm gonna 
Let's use a chill touch so I don't use a spell slot. <laughs> right. Um That is a uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen just hits. Yes. Okay. Um that's Okay, that's thirteen damage. Thirteen. Mm-hmm. Um. Then I think that's it, actually. Yeah, I'll take another one. I'll take another legendary action, and okay. uh, you're within ten feet of me, so I'm gonna go for you. Cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, was a fourteen hit. Yeah, that's mine. Oh, that's nice. I mean. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very genuine, though. <laughs> I totally believe you. <laughs> what? Crazy. Uh, all right, let's roll these guys. Uh, that is 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Ouch. Ouch. All right, Darren. Uh... I th think I'm just gonna cast Shatter at third level okay. on this boy. Sure. Okay. Period. And like, yeah, like right there. Shatter, man. So I need a uh, Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Okay. That is a dirty twenty. That succeeds, but he's still going to be taken half. So, he's going to be taking eight points of thunder damage. Right. You know, isn't hurt. thunder super effective against water types? Lightning? Uh, no, this is not Pokemon. <laughs> 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 And uh, I am going to give uh, let's give Bardic Inspiration to Hoots. All right, cool. Oralana. Okay, I'm gonna attack it again with my, or I'll try and attack it with my short bow. Okay, you can again. roll with advantage. Uh, oh time. yeah. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Have you used your inspiration yet? I have not, and that's a D eight, right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, um, that's a sixteen. Sixteen just misses. Ah, <laughs> I'm <okay>. sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to do on your turn? Is there anywhere to hide? Anywhere I could try um, and hide. I mean, you could technically go inside. There's like, like this is a little balcony, but you could go like there's a door, and you could go inside if you wanted to go inside. No, because then I'd have to come out. So I'll just hope for the best. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Uh, okay. Let's see. What should I do? Alright. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to... You know what? Let's roll. Let's see who I go for. Okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll roll a, a d4. Four. And one to two, Theron. Three to four, Hoots. Five to six, Revan. Uh, four. So Hoots, I'm gonna try Bring to it on. bite you. Uh, does a seventeen hit? I, yes, that does hit. I got one. Uh, all right. is 
not great. Uh, that's nine points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, because I'm not spitting this time, <laughs> I'm gonna attack with my claws and try to go for the other two. Um, so, claw attack against Theron. Uh, that is a 24. Yeah. Um, and that is, uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Oh, I'm so low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and let's do a claw attack against uh, Revan. Maybe. Oh, that's probably not going to work. That's a 13. Oh, no, no. All right. Uh, hoots. Hmm. I'm going to start by uh, attacking with a spear again. 23 to hit. 23 definitely hits. Um, that'll be 7 damage. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hmm. I'm going to spend a key point and do flurry of blows. Um, and that'll be two uh, unarmed strikes, which will be E, 13 and a 25 to hit. I assume I hit the 25. The 25 works. And that'll be 8 bludgeoning. Alright. And that will be my turn. Nice. Chi! Okay. It's just a... I'm like domain of math over here. Um, <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay, so first thing is first what I'm gonna do uh, for my, well. Uh, I'd like to back away but I think that's going to incur an op uh, attack of opportunity because that is technically within 10 feet. <sighs> but I'd like to, cause I just, ugh. You can use your know. action to disengage. Disengage, but I'd like to use my action to do cleric things. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna take my chances. Okay. I'm just gonna move back, like, mm, er, e, er, does that put me still? Hang on, let me make sure that still puts me within range with most people. Stupid dee doo you're still there. Yeah, so yeah, go ahead, try and just go ahead. Does a 13 hit? Does not hit, Woo! okay. Okay, so oh, I'm glad I'm I did that. I'm so die. sorry. I rolled a 13 on the die, so that's a 23. So yeah, and that, that is. is the Good. lower of the two die, I swear. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, okay, that will be... Uh, 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god, I'm at one hit point. Jesus. <laughs> Why did I do that? Okay. Alright, so... Okay, so for my, um, yeah, apparently this guy's got a mod. Uh, so I am going to do uh, uh, um, Channel Divinity Preserve Life. Uh, and I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do then is uh, I'm going to give, Jesus, yeah, that's, that's, that's just going to have to do it. Okay, so. Eight hit points to Revan, to Orlana, and to Theron. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's my action. My eight. bonus action. Eight. eight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I have access to like 25 for preserve life, but I'm trying to, yeah. I don't know, disperse. So uh, that's, that's my action. My bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself. Uh... 
fucking, let's see. <laughs> I don't like that. That'll have to do. Okay, yeah, we'll do healing word at second level on myself, because I just... Ugh. Let's see, so... One, two. Oh, that's. Oh my god, yes. Okay, so I get back 16. Jesus. So I, I healed basically what I what I suffered in the turn. Uh, that's my turn. All right. Ooh. Hey, before we go to the next one, I just checked my spell and it's poisoned until the end of my next turn, so you're not poisoned anymore. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right, Isla. Okay, I'm gonna shoot my short bow again. Go for it. A uh, twenty-seven to hit. A twenty-seven hits. Eight, nine, ten, eleven plus five is sixteen points of piercing damage. Oof. And that's my turn. He's looking real hurt, guys. Ugh! <sighs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna use a... I'm gonna use a legendary action. If I'm going down, I'm gonna try to t take somebody with me. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> is... Um, gosh. Can I get... I don't want to get an attack of opportunity. Um, okay, let's see who I go for. Uh. Sorry, if you're in. Uh, it's does, fine. Does a 15 hit? Yep. Okay. Um. is uh, 17 points of bludgeoning damage. I'm down. Uh, Revan. So, he looks real bad? Yeah, he looks real bad. Like, real, real bad? Like pretty <laughs> dang bad. Alright, I'll go for... Uh, just an attack uh, with my blade of the tempest. That is a. You should at least be adding four instead of two. I I gotta okay. fix your weapon. I don't know why it's giving you that mod to hit. Uh, I'll change it to a four. Um, okay. fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen's gonna miss, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then as my bonus action, sorry, I missed it. Who just went down? Theron. Theron, I'm going to cast Healing Word on you. And you get back eight health. Cool, thanks. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's, that's, that's good because it's Theron's turn. Oh, shoot. I was planning on not giving anything. <laughs> I was like, I'm down. No I don't have to plan. Uh, oh, come on. If you want, I could not go again and just knock you out again. I would love for you to not do that. <laughs> I mean, I can be considerate like that. Mm, I mean, that's a you call. But <laughs> Assuming you don't do that, I'm going to do another gel touch. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, 19. 19 hit. Dope. Uh, 10. How do you want to do this? Ah! Woo! Woo! Um, First one of the new year. Hooray! Um. What should I do? Can I have the hand just like grab it like by the snout and push it back? Sure. Uh, so this chilled touch, um, 
grabs this sea dragon by the snout and the instant this sort of like um almost like skeletal sort of uh hand touches the sea dragon you watches um its pallor just uh it instantly pales and these dark veins start to appear all across its body as this necrotic uh, uh, energy just sort of emanates through it and this hand pushes it back and you just watch this whole thing just sort of slither and slip and dip back into the water and we're gonna take a break good job first try of 2023 damn are we sure Halloween has a left? That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> I've never uh, taken so many of you down in one fight. That was nice. Yeah, that was a lot. The spit. It was the spit. That was the spit was yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. All right. Um. So, um, you defeated this sea dragon. Okay. Uh, it's still like just you know what midday or something. Um. But you are coming off of this attack. Um, what do you? What would you guys like to do, or, or would you like to comment on what just took place? <laughs> uh, I will thank Revan for his help. You're so welcome. Mm-hmm. I think you helped me in either the last or two fights ago. So we're even. Oh. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, I've never seen anything like that. Do I recognize it? I've done a lot of sailing. I'm kind of like oh, yeah. into make. Um, you can make a, like an intelligence check, I guess. Intel- straight intelligence. Point. Yeah, or I'm trying to think of something else. Survival. Uh, um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> eh, make Major? an intelligence check. Just straight intelligence. Okay. Oh! 16. <laughs> 16. Uh, you have definitely heard tale of sea dragons. You have uh, been fortunate enough to not experience um, one of them yourself, but uh, uh, you... Yeah, you've heard of them. They can be pretty nasty, and you have heard of instances in which they have uh, broken ships in two. So, um, y'all definitely Ooh. avoided some pretty uh, gnarly uh, situations. Well, we got out of that easy, y'all. I have no idea how we managed that. <laughs> Yikes. I don't know. I'm glad, I'm we glad did. we handled it. I want to check in with the crew as well, and just like make sure everyone else is Gucci. Yeah, you uh, you check in with the crew. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> forgot. Is, is definitely um, um, he's doing all right. Um, Ronald and Donald, uh, the, <laughs> the 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 boat swain twins, they're doing good. Mac, the uh. The cook, uh, Grimace is doing good. Birdie is is all right as well. Uh, Vice is um, a bit shaken up. Uh, yeah, that was kind of um, it was crazy. I feel like maybe we should have like helped you on the cannons, but we didn't. I think we just all kind of just got kind of froze. Um, hey, I I got it. Is is Isla okay? She's like been avoiding me lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I- I'm sure she's fine. Uh, I mean, well, uh, um, you know, uh, I think we're all just going through uh, uh, journeys of self discovery uh, and. I think she's just, you know, just uh, you, working through some things. Do you really think that she, like that guy, that guy that was here that attacked us, like, is that all true? I believe him. 
Okay. I mean, it's 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 certainly wild, but he certainly wasn't some ruthless. Um, I don't know, uh, pirate like I thought he was. But like, she's not gonna like kill us all, right? I sure don't think so. Yeah, this whole thing is just making me like reevaluate things, you know? I'm. Anyway, I just. All right, I'm going to go. Um, yeah, I... You, yep, we're good. Uh, yeah, take, <laughs> take care. <laughs> uh, well, if you ever need anything, you you know where to find me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> God. <laughs> Damn. Mm. Well, shit, y'all. <sighs> um, Weren't we in a, con- a con- about Siren before this all happened? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, let's, <laughs> bring you back. let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. You know, <laughs> revisit that conversation just a tad. Yeah, I'm walking we're below deck. <laughs> Siren is starting to walk away. Siren, <laughs> don't walk away from us. I keep walking. We're talking to <laughs> you. Yo, they're all on the same <laughs> ship. She can't get far. <laughs> Should we just follow her? Yeah, I was just gonna go get a drink. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I do wonder, I do wonder how far away we can actually be from each other. I know the coins, they... Mm. Question, yeah. actually. But, oh, but I hey, actually don't. what are our coins looking like? Oh, oh yeah. They look the same. Okay. Mm. All right. Hmm. Listen, if by killing this sea dragon, there's another sea dragon that winds up dead, that probably isn't too bad. I mean, there it goes. <laughs> Is, is Hoots flying around? Is that what's happening right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just realized he can tilt him, the characters. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god! God. Uh, oh, this has changed the game. Man, that ADHD is a killer, ain't it? Oh. <laughs> god. god damn. Oh my god. Woo. 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 That's time. hilarious. He said, Nero. <laughs> So you follow fear in below deck. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, I got a train. Oh my god, Next now y'all are just moving <laughs> each other around. <laughs> okay. Where uh, where have we where have we ended up down down uh, below deck? Uh below deck, um she said she was going to get a drink, so you're probably down on the bottom level. Um Okay. And uh, Mac, a uh, big sort of um, burly dragonborn woman, is putting down a mug of ale in front of Theron, uh, I guess at this table here in the center. Mm. I guess I can move down there. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, but who's moved down there, so now I feel like I can move. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to be there. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Sure, I will. Heck yeah. Get, I'll move my character across. Yeah. Come on. Um, just, there we go. That's the thing. Okay. Okay, yeah. So we're all just chilling at the at the bar. Sure. I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess. Well, um... Uh, just glance real quick. <clears throat> mm. Okay, yeah. I would like to do something. Um, so, like, you know, you see 
you know, she's just kind of, uh, she's not drinking, of course, but you know, she's just kind of there and she's kind of just eyes you curiously, Theron, and she also kind of looks at uh, Isla and, and Oralana, just, and then, you know, she, she says some words and, and, and waves uh, her hands and Theron, you just feel this like, like righteous, uh, compelling and, and just energy just like surround you. And I'd like for you to make a charisma save. Okay. <laughs> I know you're a charisma caster, but I want to do it anyways. <laughs> Fuck it. Charisma save? Yeah. Okay. Is this being charmed? I don't think so. It's Zone of Truth. I don't think that's no. a... Is it? Okay, okay, just making sure, because I have a thing for charm. I can't remember what school this is. I mean, it's an enchantment. I mean, aren't enchantments charms? You're not being charmed. Not specifically, no. It's no. being charmed. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. It'll, okay. it'll say. Uh, that's a dirty 20. All right. Well, you succeed, as I figured you might. Let me go ahead and put that off. Shot. Yeah. No, I mean, I didn't know what else I was going to do. Okay. <laughs> do we all have to roll two? Because we're in the zone. <laughs> Yeah, sure, why not? Technically, <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. Technically, yes. <laughs> it's it's oh, a fifty wow. foot sphere, so anyone that's in a fifty foot sphere there, yeah, sure. Oh my, oh, my <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I got oh, no. I got a twelve. Oh. A nat one. Okay, alright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do we want to know about women? <laughs> so, <laughs> so anybody <laughs> anybody that rolled like below a fifteen, uh he basically for the next 10 minutes, you cannot speak a deliberate lie uh, no. while, in, while in the radius, but... Hmm. Um, um, but if for planning for reference, I failed. So okay. You know okay. who I fails know and who succeeds. I, I know who fails and who succeeds. So just like, so Revan failed, Isla failed, Darren, Darren failed, who <laughs> failed? <laughs> Wait, oh everyone failed except for Darren! <laughs> I just want to know oh, if anybody was planning on that. It's just like the train! The only, the only person you needed to... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you succeeded! Amazing! <laughs> ah. wow. God damn it. Okay, so if you're affected, not that I was going to ask y'all anything, but <laughs> if you're affected, you can thus avoid answering questions to which you would normally respond with a lie. But And you can be invasive in your answers as long as... It remains within the boundaries of truth, but okay. So uh, she is sitting there realizing what has happened, and she's like, oh. <laughs> "All right, you know what? You, that's okay. That's okay. You, maybe I should have. I should have honored your privacy anyway. But I just, I just am a little concerned because whatever your connection to this Ronin character is, if we don't know, we cannot help you." What if, I mean, I don't think she's your sister, but what if, I don't know, she's someone, a, a close friend, I don't know, you're trying to protect, but if we don't know that, then what if we accidentally do something that can then be to that detriment? And I just, I just want to help. That's all I want to do. Uh, so I'm sorry, and I'm sorry. I did not think this was going to happen. This is very awkward. But um, I just... I will let you have your privacy, but I, I'm just concerned, is all. Noted. Honestly, I don't think <laughs> Theron's telling us the whole truth, but... I don't think so either, but... I cannot make people really do things. Um, Didn't you just try? Not, <laughs> not much things. <laughs> Listen, even if you were affected, you could still maybe be a little evasive in your answers. Unless we asked you yes-no answers. Yeah, so you asked no questions, but. Well. <sighs> yeah. Everyone is down at the bottom floor, right? I think, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Hoots is going to, Hoots is going to like wave his fingers, his feathers and try and get Chi's attention. And he's okay. going to point at Isla. Say, who, who, who. She failed too, right? 
<laughs> she, everybody, everybody, everybody failed. Yes. But, um, Isla, are you, well, no, you don't know anything though of your past life though. I don't think do you, you would... know anything about your past life. Do you know anything about your food? Who? The only things I've known are what I've told y'all about. I had that weird dream. Right. But that wasn't really, I mean, it was kind of like flashes, you know, I didn't, I didn't know what my name was. I didn't, I haven't really, I mean, I kind of kept it from y'all, but I wasn't really lying. I was lying by omission. You know what I mean? Sure. No, but I don't blame you. I mean, it, it, it seems as if you were still trying to make sense of all that anyway. So, um, okay. Yes or no. Is there anything you're hiding from us? <laughs> oh god, no, this is actually great. Oh god, this is actually great. Do we have to think about how to answer this? It's a yes or no question! Just yes or no. Jeez, I didn't even... That wasn't in character. No, I know, oh. but... That was pretty smart. Damn. <laughs> Honestly, leave it to me to get tunnel vision on there and not remember other people's. <laughs> but then again. Yeah, I mean, if anything, I'm not this hiding presents... it. There's nothing that I'm hiding. Is there anything that you are not being completely honest about? I mean, I feel uh -oh. like everyone has their secrets. There's a lot okay. I'm probably not being super honest about just because I don't know a lot. Is there anything that you are knowingly not telling us? <laughs> Detective G. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, while this spell lasts, I figure I can just harvest the the, the grain that I can. I mean, but if it's... perhaps I feel like there's certain private things that I don't just want to air out to everyone. Okay. Okay. Uh, Do you think this could be detrimental to the rest of us for not knowing? Do you think this is... Nah. Do I believe her? <laughs> <laughs> um, make an insight check. Sure, because I just... She listen. believes her. She, yeah, oh, well, that's, let's see. Plus, that's probably not... Uh, that's a 17. Do I need to make a persuasion roll? Yeah, I guess so. I don't have the best persuasion, I don't think. I have a plus two. We'll see how this goes. Six. Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you think she's telling the truth, or at least what she believes is the, un is the truth, but... Um, there's just something about her answer that implies that she is withholding something or um, something of that nature. Do I notice anything about Isla? Like, do I notice anything different since I've last maybe really looked at her? Um, I or mean... Visually, she looks the same way she's looked for the past, what, week? Week. Um, or so. I mean, you got that earring a while ago now. She got the earring a while ago, but we never... Yeah. She I don't think, I don't think it, she... But I don't, right, but I don't think she would have would have thought, oh, is it the earring? I don't think she would have. Yeah. I don't think that. enough has happened for that to... Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'm, I, I'm sorry for putting anyone on the spot, but, um... No, let's air no, it No, I out. get it. I'm, we've, got, we've got ten minutes, so... <laughs> look, look, I get it. I've been surrounded by mystery, even to myself. I, I totally get you asking questions when you had the chance. Oh, I guess you would notice that she stopped wearing her glove. Oh, okay. Well, that's oh, yeah. I, I'm not wearing it anymore. It's like that's a fine. knife wound straight through my hand. <laughs> Casual. Well, I appreciate you being 
forthcoming. Um, you're welcome. I guess, hey, this is an opportunity if anybody wants to yeah, we need ask to anybody them. anything. <laughs> Get it out, people. If you got questions for anybody. <laughs> now, Reverend, I mean, we don't know do really you. you. Like two or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's four. What do you, four. What do you want to know about me? Uh, you really um, think you're only four? I really think I'm only four. <laughs> He really thinks that was kind of a joke question. I didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> I am four. Do Do you know your creator? That was yeah. A joke oh. Would we know your creator? Wait, oh. would we know that's Mortimer? I can't remember. Or is it Mortimer? He. It's not it's Mortimer. Mortimer and you would not know. Okay. I can't remember how old. Okay. Well, but I just realized a warforged on a on a ship surrounded by water. It all seems quite different, which I think is very uh, cool. Everything has been different. <laughs> I, I had a pretty sheltered, uh, I guess, years. childhood. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really know much outside my guild before I came here, so. Oh. Did you tell me where you came from? Remind me if you did. I'm, I'm sorry. I did. I came from... Axrath. Axrath. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes, that would be very different, huh? Mm-hmm. Never set sail before a couple weeks ago, days ago. It's been it's been a few weeks. Yeah, before a few weeks ago. So it's all new. Well, welcome to the open ocean, buddy. <laughs> okay, let's get back to Theron though. Like I know that you <laughs> succeed on the zone of truth or whatever, but Theron, look, nothing can be as bad as finding out that you're me. So, like... <laughs> that's true. I feel like she spits out her drink. <laughs> hey, hey, we know that's the truth, too. <laughs> yeah. So, so, like, you know, you can tell us whatever's up. We're not going to judge you, because clearly, you know, I'm still here and haven't been, you know, marooned off this ship yet. So, you know, we can so work with things. I can't judge anyone. We all got skeletons. I promise we won't think anything different of you, Theron. See, it's so hard because you're all telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. It's true. Side note, out of character, Darren said we wouldn't think it. Yeah, that was my thought process, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Shut up, Joe. Shut up. <laughs> I, uh, Revan didn't say that. If I tell you anything, I need to know that you're not going to do anything with the information. Do anything what now? Say that again? With the information. With We're on a ship in the middle of nowhere. What can we do? We're traversing yeah. a continent. We could, you could do a lot. <laughs> I, I mean, do that anything. is true, but not unless yeah. it's something you approve of. I agree. I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare to um, do something about it without asking, and whatever you said, I would respect. Because you know a lot more about this than we do, so. Looking at anyone who hadn't answered. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at whoever hasn't answered. Scout's on her. She 
He wants an answer from everybody. Yeah. Who hasn't answered? Are you looking at me? <laughs> well, I don't make <laughs> promises about things I don't know, as a general rule. Mm, funny, same. Then you understand where I'm coming from. Then you understand why I can't tell you. Can we have Revan leave the room? (laughs) I I have to tell the truth. Uh, uh. Do I have silence? I don't have silence. Shit. I don't have silence prepared. (laughs) Yeah. It's just. Uh, Damn. I'll leave the room, but I, like, I can, there's no promises nobody tells me we're on a ship. No, for sure. I, um... Theron, would you... Would you prefer to to verbally um, say anything? Or would you prefer to, um, to to just help me? And I can disperse to whoever you would approve of. Oh. Not that I want to leave anyone out, but I also don't want to put Theron on the spot. I don't. I, I, I'm just trying to sort of balance everything. But what would Theron do? <laughs> Question was, of the century. I was not prepared for this option. WWTD. <laughs> yeah, Keller stars. Nobody's ever prepared for the fact nope. that you can fucking read nope. lines. Bracelets. Well, I, I, can't, I can't read lines. I can. I only have telepathy. I do not have detect thoughts. I do not have that spell. <sighs> One day. That would be a great spell to have just about now. Mm. I detect magic. Your detect thoughts, just like. <laughs> Can I think about it? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Speaking of, while we got everyone around this table right now, um, Chi, if I ever kill anyone, like in a battle, even if it's someone we're fighting. I want you to. I want you to let Allie know. Okay. I think he would know the most about. I don't really. I guess my biggest fear is that I'm going to go insane again. And I don't know what triggered it last time. I don't know what resulted in me turning into what I did and so I feel like Allie would know what to do if anyone I think that's very wise of you and I I will make I'll make an effort to conserve enough of my energy to be able to let Allie know I mean, if you're out of spell slots, you can wait until the next day or whatever. I'm sure. I I guess I I guess I could. I guess that is true. But I don't want to forget. I want to, you know. Joe. How much time has passed? I don't know. Oh, are you waiting to see if Zone of Peace has passed? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Uh, I mean, probably not. Not that. I mean, how long does Zone Truth is ten minutes? Ten minutes. Well, Ooh. I don't know. I feel like y'all have been talking for a while. Like ten minutes could have passed. It's probably about to be up. Okay. He's trying to decide if what I just said was in Zone of Truth or not. Do we know? Do we like get a feeling when it's up, or is that like a? You... I, I'd imagine so. Like I'd imagine like the the like energy like dissipates, and you're like, huh, sure. or something. I'd imagine so. I don't. Okay. The, the spell doesn't exactly specify, but I got you. I got you. For flavor, I would say so. We'll say the spell ends in three, two, one. Now it's gone. 
Let's see. I'm writing this down. Isla has asked me. It's a good fail safe. All right, Theron. I, if you want to That's tell everybody, back. I won't do anything. I, yeah, I really believe uh, you now, Revan. <laughs> <laughs> that was all out of character. Whoa. Revan wasn't asking. Well, <laughs> we know that there's a spell. <laughs> wow. Theron doesn't know that. <laughs> Theron no, she does. No, she... No, no, she didn't no, fail. She... she wasn't under it. No, she's not affected by the spell, but she's aware of it happening. Uh, yeah, I got the feeling of righteousness. I just pushed it out of her. Like... I, I, I would imagine. Yes, I mean, do. again, the, <laughs> the spell yeah. doesn't. It doesn't entirely <laughs> specify, but it does say like. Um. Well, I don't know. It, I it's, think it's unclear. Those that are <laughs> under the effect know that they're under the effect, but. But I'm not so sure. Okay. It's unclear. Okay. Yeah. We can have a DM ruling, but yeah. Because I know that they know that it's been cast. Or something like that. You create a creature that interests I will say, whether I know it ended or not, the fact that you waited that long and then we're like, (laughs) okay! (laughs) It's a little... It's a little sucks. The affected... An affected creature is aware of the spell and can thus avoid answering questions to which it normally... Res- would respond with a lie. So, I would say that only the creatures affected are aware that they are under the effect. I think if you succeed, you know that somebody attempted to do something to you, but because you pushed mm. aside or overcame it, you don't feel that ongoing presence. Okay. Okay. So, Theron well, sure. wouldn't know that it just ended. <laughs> No, but that probably would have given me a hint. It's a bit sus. <laughs> it's sus when you're like, I'm not going to answer. I don't know. And then you wait. And then you're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> oh, man. Nice try, though. <sighs> well. I tried. <laughs> But I'm very happy that we survived that scary encounter. <clears throat> and we can all live to tell the tale. And I don't know how far we are from Glimcairn, but we're still on the way to Glimcairn. That's good. Are we? Didn't, um, didn't Isla like, rock the boat earlier? Are we still on our way? <laughs> Your course has been corrected. You're on the way. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. It's just back on Isla Day, huh? We just found out your bloody Jack. That was like a week I mean, ago. No, that was like that was a day ago. A couple, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, Maybe it's, it's two days. <laughs> I'm not saying it's justified, but... I mean, that's fair. It's fair. Kind of has a point. Mm. Mm. So, I had a thought about our coins. Okay. You remember how Mortimer said he saw an eighth thread? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm wondering if the increases in in the curse aren't because of what we're doing but because of what that other person is doing i mean that's definitely possible we've got no idea who this eighth person even is so right because our our curses like the coins it's all been going up by like pretty much all of them the same amount right Mm mm-hmm I'm wondering if it's if it's like a shared thing and if it's if it's not because of us so what are they doing and who are they because when That's when Mortimer question. first said when Mortimer first said there's an eight thread like I mean the only other person there was Devin and he's but, dead 
So I don't know why. I don't know what. Unless there's some kind of... Unless... What if it's one of those things where... I mean... I was just... That's, if it just that that's true. true that's true what if it finds like of the eight that were there the eight that were there um that sort of awaken i guess the curse or something uh if someone is dead and, and stays dead does the curse just find like someone house? else that's what i'm wondering because unless devin's been revived some way and i I, I, I mean, I doubt it, but stranger things have happened, I guess. Can I, I mean, pull my coin out and just, like, really examine it while they're talking? Sure. I don't know, I just want to look and see if there's anything that I missed on it. Um, it's sort of a greenish uh, metal. Um, it has writing on it. Um, but it's it's not writing like you don't recognize the language. Um, I believe Devin was able to read it, but um, none of y'all are able to read it. Something else that Mortimer said that I've been racking my brain about is how they don't even look Aurelian, and that they look maybe from some other plane or something. Well, that yeah, that just goes over my head a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah. Just just a thought I had and <clears throat> definitely not like closure on anything, but No <laughs> maybe like the possibility that it's, you know, not something that we can figure out on our own without knowing who that other person is or what if pancakes the eighth thread ah pancake would have a coin little buddy don't got a coin do you (laughs) 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 yeah no for real I had that thought I checked him like (laughs) thoroughly And, uh, yeah, no, he doesn't have a coin. Mm. Like, you know how, um, every time, um, he gets killed, uh, everything he has on him drops. Hmm. So and we would not, we would not be yeah. coin. Unless the coin Is can, him. can, like, travel with him back to his home plane. Who knows? I don't know. I don't think he's done anything nefarious. I don't know, man. Pancake, cold-blooded killer for sure. (laughs) (laughs) He is a cat. Uh, uh, Fair. (laughs) Very fair. Oh, man. Well, is there anything else that you guys want to do or talk about this evening? As we move into the later hours. I think I'm gonna like sit in my hammock and, and work on that work on that song. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Is anybody else doing anything? I'm gonna sharpen my daggers. Okay. I'm gonna keep drinking. <laughs> 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 Uh, Mac is gonna walk over and, um, eye your, like, I don't know, second or third mug and just be like, You need to pace yourself. You have small frame. (laughs) And then just keep walking. She chugs the rest of it. (laughs) (laughs) Make a constitution saving throw. I was hoping to say that. (laughs) Constitution save? Yes. Okay. That's an eight. <laughs> an eight. Uh, Theron is very, very drunk now. Oh. Um, Dope. Theron 
Well, here, Casey, you tell me, what kind of a drunk do you think Theron is? Hmm. I feel like she gets in a bad mood when she's drunk. Like she's kind of... So we got a, a mopey, kind of grumpy drunk. Mm-hmm. All right. Duly noted. Is anybody else doing anything this evening? No? Okay, I got a question. Okay. So, Thieves Can't is like a code type thing. Yeah. Is there any way I can use my knowledge of Thieves Can't to try to look at what's on the coins and figure out what the symbols mean? No. Okay. No. That's fine. That was I a just good idea. To ask. Decent idea. They are they're very different. There's Okay. Um uh, Oh uh before we Sure. Uh before I guess everyone goes off to bed and stuff, I would find Isla and just like clarify like so so do you mean you mean humanoids? Is that when I need to when I need to tell Yeah. Um, any okay. Any sort of humanoid. Like, if we're fighting another sea serpent, I think that's fine, but... Right. I don't know. I don't want to kill people or, like, other humanoid. Like, even if we're fighting them, I'd rather... What I'm saying is, I don't plan on killing anyone, so if I do, it might be a problem. Okay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Good night. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Uh, you guys go to sleep. Um drift off to sleep in your perspective or respective beds um Isla uh you're an elf um Correct. so you don't have to sleep as long four. so <clears throat> by the end of hour four uh you wake up to see Allie reaching for your earring on your ear in in your room um oh uh well <laughs> this is a bit awkward uh how you doing what are you doing here yeah just testing something he keeps reaching for it what do you do I'm gonna grab his hand. Okay. You grab his hand. What are you doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. Well. Just confirming a few things. Uh, seems like you guys got in a bit of a scrape today. Not that I am keeping an eye on things. I told you it was fine to keep your eye on things. Yeah, I know. People say that. They don't always mean it. But, uh... You seem okay. Haven't that's, killed anyone. That's good. Nice change. Not wearing that, uh... Glove anymore. Sorry well, about I didn't that. I see a reason to. You want to see mine? Sure. He removes his glove, and you see that, um... <laughs> uh, his hands that was gloved, um, it's actually a prosthetic. Um, so his whole entire hand seems to be, um, this interesting sort of prosthetic of, like, a mix of, of wood and metal, um but it moves and articulates the way a normal hand would. Um, it definitely seems something magical in nature about its functionality. That's pretty handy. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. How'd that happen? <laughs> uh, you. Just like your hand. Though this one's a bit worse. So, uh, 
when did you get the uh, the earring? We found it on a ship. Interesting. You decided to keep it? Well. It reminded me of something. And I wasn't sure why. So I cracked it. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Why the interest in it? It's just an earring. I'm... <sighs> Looks a bit familiar to me too. We'll put it that way. Can I try and take it off and hand it to him? Make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Plus one. Here we go. Twelve. You do not want to give him that earring. That's one. Well, I just figured I'd, uh, stop by. Check in. Feel free any time. Okay. Uh, and he will, uh, he just sort of bamps out, disappears. I'm gonna get up and go get a glass of hot chocolate, a cup of mug of hot chocolate. Sure. You go down to the kitchens, um, and uh, get s- some some semblance of a mug of hot chocolate in your ship kitchens. I'm sure all the accoutrement for that is is found on board. Actually, knowing Lord Adrillus, you probably can find the ingredients for hot chocolate on this ship because he's a bougie motherfucker. Um, yeah. Uh, so you make yourself a, a cup of hot chocolate. Easy Perfect. enough. Uh, anybody else? Uh, well, I guess everybody else is asleep. Um, you guys are able to uh, uh, complete a long rest and you wake up in the morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Do I want to prepare any different spells today? I do not need to, but I will look. Um, I assume we'd all like sit down for breakfast or something. Sure. I'm gonna say, well, I had an interesting visitor last night. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh. Dish, dish. <clears throat> I woke up. Y- y'all know I only, I'm an elf, so I only have to sleep four hours, right? I right, y'all know right. That. I woke up and Allie was in my room. <gasps> Stop, no. <laughs> uh, you, hear me a, you hear a plate clatter on the floor. <laughs> You see Vices <laughs> dropped in. <laughs> God damn. He awkwardly Amazing. picks it back up and leaves. Details. Details. Come Amazing. Come I mean, we just talked. He said he was there to check up on me. Oh. Oh. And I told him there was nothing to check up on. While you were sleeping, mm. though? Yeah, it was a little weird. 
it definitely mm. he was given off a strange vibe, but can, can I insight mm. check Isla? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm... Seventeen. Okay, well I rolled a nineteen plus stuff. Oh, oh shit. Seems to be telling the truth. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. yeah, it was. I'm not gonna lie. It's funny coming from theory. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but he did, you know, we chatted for a bit. I said, you know, we just beat like a sea dragon thing, you know. Had nothing really happened yesterday and, and then he left. I don't know. I guess I'm just letting y'all know he might be showing up around the ship sometimes, so be wary, mm. I guess. Okay. I mean, we know we can teleport, so. Oh, also, he's got like a mechanical hand. Apparently, I did that. I don't really know. Oh. What? He's got like a mechanical hand, and I guess I did that. He said I did that. Huh. Sorry, I'm writing down a lot. Um, no, Joe, we can't hear. Are you talking? Let's speak. Oh, oh, there oh. It is. oh well. First, uh, first uh, mishap. Roll twenty mishap mm. of the year. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. We want to uh, have people stay up. Do we what? You sound like you're underwater. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay. Do we want to stay up in shifts then, and just like have somebody be around in case he shows up? I mean, no. Nah, I'd rather I have my room to myself. Well, they don't have to stay in your room, but I mean... <laughs> I'm sure you would. <laughs> well, then how would y'all know if he... <laughs> I'm just thinking he might not just be showing up to check in on you. I I don't really know this guy, so if he's just showing up on the ship all the time, then... I don't know. Who knows what he's I'm doing? I'm willing to let Isla make the call here. I don't know. I be, think he's only really concerned with me. Yeah. I don't think y'all have anything to worry about. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully. I mean, he did kill you before. Yeah, but he didn't act like he was going to kill me last night. Mm. What did he act mm. like? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was definitely suspicious, but I didn't see, like, he wasn't, like, reaching over me with a knife when I woke up or anything, you know? So. What was he suspicious of? I think he's just worried. I mean, I think he's worried of the same thing I am, but I'll end up the same way. That tracks, but it's still weird. Right. Oh, yeah. That's why I thought to mention it to y'all, because it, it was weird. To wake up and then there was just someone in my room. Oh. Yeah. And he, he had the chance to kill you and I, I, I he didn't. So. Well, if you need anything. <laughs> you know, we're here for you, Isla. Thanks. I think even if I'd woken up, he could have killed me if he wanted to. So, um, that is a positive change from the last time we saw him. True. 
Yeah, because he did shoot you then too. He shot me in twice, and I uh, I was literally down. I think if he wanted, he could kill me, no matter if I were awake or asleep. So, and he didn't. I don't. I don't I'm not. I'm not too worried about it. I don't think. Your you breakfast so. uh, passes relatively uh, uh, uneventfully, despite the interesting slash moderately tense uh, conversation. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, does anybody do anything during the day? I'm definitely going to be sending, but I'm just I'm current I'm crafting a sending message right now. Okay. <laughs> How? Uh, private are the rest of our rooms? Um, the rest of y'all definitely share with each other. Um, there's a room with two beds in it, and then there's a room with three beds and a hammock. Um, there's also the crew's quarters, which is just a big room filled with hammocks. Um, if you needed to find a private corner of, of, of the ship, you probably could, like, hide in a storage closet or something. Um, but mm. the rest of y'all's rooms are, are shared with each other. Okay. I'll, I'll go find a private corner and meditate. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I see. Oh, I mean, during the day, y'all are welcome to, like, use my room for anything. I won't be in it. Um, anybody else doing anything? No? Uh, at some point... Figured out the poster. (laughs) Yeah. At some point, you, um, guys hear, um, uh, Vice will shout something from the crow's nest. Um, and, and you'll hear, um, uh, we got something off in the distance, uh, on the, on the starboard side. Huh. Let's run go up look. To I guess we'll yeah. up and look star- Nope. Hmm? Biggs? Hello. What? Sorry, I missed. I said I guess we'll go up and look starboard. All right, yeah. uh, you, uh, you all can roll a perception check for me. If I'm using my little scope, do I get advantage? Yes. 22. You're nice to being nice to me today. 21. Ooh. Damn. 21 as well. Shit. 22. Oh, fuck. It's all 21s <laughs> and 22s. 15. Woo-hoo. I'm not there Woo-hoo. to do shit, so. Okay. Um, you guys, uh, that, that rolled absurdly high. You guys do see that there is something off in the distance. It looks like... It looks like a towering humanoid figure that's like literally walking through the ocean, Ah! wading through the water. What? The fuck? Do I recognize what it is? People have sailed before. What the fuck? Uh, you can give me an intelligence or a history check. Yeah, I was about to say, can I, have I heard any, like... Nat 20. I rolled the bunny rabbit. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and it's going to be intelligence because history would be at disadvantage, so intelligence. You, um... This is nothing you've ever seen before, but you know, um, that, um... It's rumored that now God's walk among the earth and are capable of walking among the earth with people uh and your guess is that this is a sighting of some sort of god or deity that has uh, chosen to move through the the water at this uh in this area does it look feminine yeah which one 
Does anyone know what god that is? Y'all, y'all rolled uh, pretty high. It does look um, like a feminine form of made up of sort of like, uh, honestly, uh, her her body looks like it's almost made of seawater itself. Oh. And there is almost Ooh. sort of like this kind of like uh, sort of like I don't know it, the. The sea around her seems uh, extra tumultuous. I'm gonna nudge Chi and be like, "Is is is that Umberly? Say who I think that is." I I was thinking that. Um, I was thinking that too. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I feel Who's like she would. I would. Uh, I wouldn't know. Yeah. Um, so. So the goddess that I worship, Salune, she, goddess of moon, stars, navigation, um, watches over ships. She, she is at odds with Umberly over the sea. Because yeah. Umberly. Umberly's is, the one that all the fishers and sailors uh, appease because. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Chaos. Okay. How, how do you appease her? What do we do? <laughs> I try uh, to flick my cursed coin people, over my shoulder. Some to people her. flick coins into the ocean. Uh, I'm, and I, I say as I flick a gold piece over yeah, my shoulder same, into I'm, the yep, ocean. I'm also gonna flick the gold uh, piece. Vice I'm walks totally over, and empties out coin. his pockets, and throws it into, yeah, into actually, the ocean. I'm gonna throw two. I'm gonna throw two. Two gold pieces. What do I have? That's that's good. Yeah, same. I think Arthog at this point is probably shambled over. Um, <laughs> uh, that's not very good. Um, yeah, I think we should definitely be paying homage to Umberly right now, lest we want this ship to end up at the bottom of the ocean. Yep. Yep, done. Uh, I'm gonna put 50 gold pieces in. Damn. I don't know how much we need. How much do we need? How much have y'all put in? So we got two plus fifty plus. Wait, two. you're keeping track of this? Oh no! Okay, two. two plus fifty plus two plus two. Uh, what's what did she put in? Has she put anything in? You haven't no. put anything in. Oh, no. I see. I see your dilemma. And even uh. doesn't put any money in. How much did our? I'm also put? flicking my cursed coin though. Like I'm making a point to see if something happens. It comes happens back to you. Arthur's gonna put in. Uh, I think I would have noticed all these people scurrying about. Oh, for sure. On on the deck, so I'm gonna come up and. How much did Vice slow down? Uh, Vice emptied his pockets, but that only amounts to maybe ten gold. (laughs) And I'll throw ten. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna throw another eight. I'll throw a couple more for G. Yeah, I'll <laughs> Yeah, let's throw 10. She's just holding on to her. She's holding on to her holy symbol, and it's just yeah. like. I'm going to make my total 10. I'm going to make mine 15. Oh my god. <laughs> the okay, fact yeah, that Amanda is writing it. this down. Do I hear a 20? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That means there's a quota. I don't like this. <laughs> uh, okay, let me just do all this math here for a second. Do any of the other crew people toss me? <laughs> what is dead may never die? <laughs> okay. Y'all the ones that wanted gods to walk on the earth. Well, you're right. Good okay. gods too, though. Tanari wanted that. <laughs> <laughs> did not. The earth had no part in that decision. Hey, I'll guess how much gold I have. And Umberly was one of the ones that fucked off and was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't coming back. Right? Yeah, that's that's all I want. Here. Here. Yeah, but, uh. But now we got oceans, so now, now she's like, got oh, oceans actually. ripe for the taking. Um, okay. All right, in total, we're looking at maybe 132 gold. We're just throwing in right. the ocean. Um, <laughs> at this point, you look out in the distance and you see uh, the figure has stopped moving. Um, and though she was maybe walking almost parallel, though way off in the distance, now she has turned and she is standing still watching your ship as the waves churn all around you. Um, all right. She stands there. Let's keep going. Let's keep I'm gonna sailing. throw another 10. 
Um, there's, uh, you hear the, the peal of, of thunder, um, the noise is so loud, it, it, uh, almost makes the ship itself shatter, and a huge, uh, uh, wave almost appears out of nowhere and, and rocks the boat. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, okay. that's good. I rolled a nat one. 24. <laughs> oh. Mm. Uh, yeah. So I have an 8. Well. 21. 14. 14. Uh, everybody that makes uh, below a 15 is not prone. Um, but you, um, after the boat is rocked and you look in that uh, general vicinity, uh, she is gone. <sighs> Never thought I'd see a god. Damn. Well, that, well, that was the nice white lady has protected us all once again. Oh, what a blessed day! <laughs> I think you mean the gold. Do you want her? We all she, do you want her to come back? Computer. Yeah. Do you want her to come back? I'm, I'm with Theron on this one. You, you, you don't. I think it's you the gold taunt. that saved us. No. You don't taunt her. Bad things happen. Yeah, I'm gonna just agree gotta... with uh, uh, these fine folk here. Um, th- I know more than a few sailors that have met their end because they did not pay the toll that she expects. Some several fishers what I is know too. The toll that she expects, if you don't the money, yet. there's never a set amount, but um, oh, okay, cool, perfect. Generally, oh. you can always give a little bit more than you're initially willing. That's what I did. Well, I think that's what we all did. (laughs) She is not to be trifled with. And she's not the only one that walks on this earth. Have you seen others? (sighs) I think so. It's... You don't always know exactly who you're looking at. Or if the things happening around you are because of a god or something else entirely. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I just, I care to elaborate? Like. <laughs> Have you never seen a bizarre occurrence and you're unsure what's caused it? I mean, there's lots of bizarre occurrences in the world. Most of them can be explained (laughs) by- Roll a deception check, Miss Shadow (laughs) in the Mirror. Oh (laughs) shit, I forgot the shadow. I wasn't thinking about the shadow. I'm rolling insight. We should all roll insight. I genuinely wasn't thinking about the shadow. Insight. (laughs) I (laughs) forgot. Insight. 15. I got got a 15. What'd you get? Is Theron hung over? A nat 20? <laughs> a 19. A 19. She got I, a 19. I, I don't know if I'm hung over. <laughs> Guess who oh, are. she should probably be a disadvantage if she's hung over. over. You're probably hung over. Um, Does that mean this is disadvantage? Yeah, roll again. How did I forget this fucking shadow? I don't know, man. <laughs> I was I was like, okay, backstory. Did she see anything in her backstory? Did I put anything in her backstory? No, I didn't. <laughs> it's like half of your backstory. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's still fine. That's 23, a so tw- it'd be 19. Uh, so 19's the lowest. Okay. Yeah. I rolled a 16. I was hoping she did worse so I could maybe... All right. All right. Mm. How did I forget that? Amazing. <laughs> Damn it. How does she get away with it every time? I have to know. She's getting lucky. I, I rolled like the dice Amanda gave me. Don't every put time. this on me. You're the liar here. <laughs> one day that we'll one get was her. not intentional. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't draw her for like two weeks, so it's not even. 
You're part of this. Yeah. Oh. Not just that, I couldn't even identify that the picture looked just like her. That was funny. <laughs> oh my god. My insight's a plus one. It ain't good. Uh, I digress. There's, there's many and odd occurrence in this world. Um, I mean, I know a lot of you are too young to have witnessed much of it. Um, but it's, this is a, a new time. Uh, gods walk amongst us, and that's not always a good thing. Wow, I wonder what bozos made it so the gods could walk among us then. <laughs> Oh, I know exactly what bozos made that decision. Have you not heard of the mythic six? I think we know. Yeah. I was sure. Well, actually, Isla wouldn't. Very yeah. Yeah. Well, Isla would. No, I guess I probably yeah, wouldn't would. know. Yeah. Oh, we've oh, heard you about isn't known that like, big deal. Isn't that who Ren's related to? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ren's aunt was Tanari. Kind of a big deal. Yeah. I, I guess I so. didn't actually um, hang out with this Ren fellow. Related to Tanari, that's. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I think. Isn't his <laughs> wife Ash's daughter? Yes. Yeah. No. But. She no, would no. Uh, yeah, niece. Niece. I would niece. 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 Yeah, not daughter, sorry, niece. Yeah. It's a small world. It's a very small world. You lost Benji. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Banished. Banishment. <laughs> You're back. There you got it. Yeah, survived the Shadow Realm. <laughs> you survived you know, the Dimmy plane be like... you were sent to. <laughs> uh. No, uh, yes, this was a very, um, powerful group of individuals that, uh, had a very big impact on the, the current state of the world. I believe they're also the reason we're traveling on the ocean as opposed to the air. Why is that? Uh, perhaps, uh... You could talk to this, uh, Ren's wife and she would have some answers for you. I guess the only way I've ever traveled or remember traveling is on boats on the sea. So, I didn't even know that there was another way to travel. Oh yeah! I don't know if I like the idea of air travel. I'd fall a long always, way if I fell out of one of those. Right, I always thought it to be. Well, that's why you always have have someone fall. with feather fall. <laughs> <laughs> Would come in handy for sure. Uh, yeah, or someone who can fly. Mm -hmm. Revan looks at Hoots. <laughs> 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 um, I could probably ask. Uh... No. No, thank you. I kept thinking locks. I went, no, not locks, but <laughs> yeah. I could probably ask them all if if would if they just went... not know? Wouldn't they know? Um, make a history check. Cool. I wouldn't. Anybody? Neither gets... would I. Not Isla or fifteen. Revan. History. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think somebody got higher than me. I got an eight. Honestly, with a fifteen, yeah, you've you've heard. You you don't necessarily know specifics, but you know that Ash is behind the. Uh, I mean, essential, essentially, the dismantlement of air travel is a thing. Actually, he's not the most popular public figure. Um, a lot of people <laughs> blame Ash for um, what's kind of been coined as one of the greatest economic disasters of like the century. Um, I mean, essentially, the whole world was put into like a, a depression. Uh, 
because their main source of travel was done away with over the span of just a couple decades. Um, and a lot of economies relied on that means of transportation to move goods and people. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it was a pretty radical time. Um, and there's more, but I think that's all of 15 would get you. Okay, I'll sort of explain. Um, so Ash was another member of the Mythic Six, and after the world changing, um, he sort of went on a mission to make it so that the ships were all ships and not airships. So it was a whole thing. The economy crashed. It was a time, but that's why we're on the ocean. Well, that's kind of why. Do you think there was a reason behind it? Like, why would someone crash the entire world economy for no reason? I don't know, man. I doubt I know that. <laughs> I imagine such a decision can't be made lightly, right? I, I mean, would maybe he just didn't give a fuck. I mean, well, with everyone knowing who he is, like, I would hope maybe he had a reason, because everyone definitely knew where to point fingers. I mean, I gotta thank him. He kind of gave me a career. That's true. Yeah. I mean, he gave me a career, too. Um. Theron. Uh-huh. Give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, another 15. Nothing. Okay. Why didn't I get to make an insight check? <laughs> well, that's fun, I guess. Um, <laughs> well, that's fun. How far are we out from... I think we're we going traveling for. Uh, hang on, let me look at the map. We've been at sea for several days, but Glimcairn isn't exactly close. It's definitely the furthest you've been set to go for a while. Mm -hmm. um, so you probably still have a decent amount of travel ahead of you. Um, I would say that you guys. We'll say you guys have been traveling for about a week. Um, um, and you <laughs> may have a... What? What are we laughing at now? The map. The throbbing wood? Is that what oh, you're yes. laughing at? <laughs> the throbbing it is wood. now. <laughs> oh, boy. That's I can't good. believe you pulled this up. I can't believe you did it. I don't <laughs> often <laughs> try to avoid it. Damn, Robin Wood is a good You just gotta put your like <laughs> you gotta put your like blinders on and just not look at it. You just you can't look at it for what it is. You have to look at it for what it used to be. <sighs> um You're about halfway, I would say. Um okay. Why don't I get a nice, uh, uh, let's get a little, uh, hmm, who should I have roll a thing? Is this about to be the end of the day? Uh, Can you keep this eeny miny meeny meeny miny moe? Yeah. <laughs> no. Like in no. the video. No. no? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're we're uh, well. No, y'all ate breakfast, then saw the god, then you had a chat. It's lunchtime. Uh, okay. Casey, roll a d twenty for me. What? I can't read this. Night. Night. Yes, 19. I had to see what she I can't read that. <laughs> I couldn't see it. I was I like, what is happening? Can you fucking read? 19. 
Seventeen years old, and you can learn how to read. Okay, okay, okay. Roll another d20 for me. <laughs> that's a fuck. <laughs> so a 20. No, that's a one. That's oh, a one. A one. Oh, he okay. is the, is the okay, yeah. okay. Uh, give me one more d20, please. Four. Four. Okay. Um... Jesus. Oh what no. I wanna do. Um, alright. <laughs> you My guess is we rolled something really bad on the encounter table and then there were four of them. What did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Um Uh okay, you Hang on, I'm trying to think of what exactly I want to do. I just got really nervous. <laughs> Y'all talk amongst yourselves for a second. Let me, uh, let me, let me figure out what I want to do. Uh oh. Well, oh, we don't no. have a map. Oh, we don't no. have a map. So we don't have a map. We don't have a map. So. Uh oh. I, I have a feeling one's coming. <laughs> uh oh. I'm scared. This is. Uh... Damn it, I didn't like prepare any different spells because I was like, ah, we fine. I'm, I'm very concerned. Oh well. Not fine. Oh. oh no. Okay, hang on, hang on. I got, I got an idea. Oh. Okay, um... At least we got a long rest, right? True. Theron, what is your passive perception? Um, passive perception is 15. Is 15. Uh-huh. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> What? Sorry. No, I'm, no, I'm just. I I noticed. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Uh, so. Yeah, you're uh, enjoying your time on the deck. You've just been having a nice chat. Um, most of the uh, other crew are up here with you. Um, and... Uh, at... at uh, Y'all are hanging out and chilling. And... Um, as the crew start to go back below deck, um, Arthok is going to sort of pull you aside, Theron, and um, okay. say, um, uh, uh, Miss Theron, I. You may want to check your pockets. I. I feel like I just saw. Um, Grimace. Uh, possibly take something off of you. Okay, I check my pockets. Uh, that, that item? Oh, shit. It's not there. Okay. You said it was Grimace? Mm-hmm. Cool. Um. Thank you. Can I insight to make sure it actually was? That it was Grimace? Sure. Mm -hmm, that he's not lying. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, <laughs> I go find Grimace. <laughs> Alright. Uh, sure. Are you... Are you just leaving the group to go find this person? Mm. Make a beeline? I'll grab she. 
Okay. Uh, Chi, you have been grabbed. You guys are heading to go find Grimace. Uh, who is... Oh my goodness! Okay, as we walk, I'm just gonna say, Arthok said Grimace stole something from me. I'm missing an item. I need you to help me convince him to give it back. <laughs> all right, all right. Absolutely. Let's find him. Cool. Uh, give me give me a perception check, uh, for both of you, as you're looking for Grimace. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. That's probably, yeah, that's better than me. I got a 14. Uh, yeah, you find uh, Grimace. He's kind of in the corner of um, uh, the crew's quarters, um, kind of keeping to himself. At y'all entering the room, he kind of um, very quickly kind of sticks his hands in his pockets. Uh, what do you want? I want what you took from me. I don't know what you're that thing, about. That thing you just put in your pocket? Maybe you have to uh, clarify. Uh, I got lots of things in my pockets. Uh, what exactly? Uh, what exactly are you? Grimace, don't play to? stupid. It doesn't become you. Give me it back. <laughs> Roll an intimidation <laughs> check. <laughs> that is a dirty twenty. Fuck <laughs> okay, yeah. Twenty. Yeah. Uh, Grimace, who is a kind of a pot-bellied goblin. Um, he. Uh, kind of looks at you pale standing in the doorway unblinking um looking every bit like death itself if we're being honest um he kind of swallows and pulls out uh sort of a small little crystal orb that has sort of a faint warm glow to it he hands it to you Theron and puts it in your hand look I just I saw you guys throwing money over into the water, and I figured maybe you just had some extra stuff that you wouldn't miss. Just shakes her head and walks out. <laughs> what uh, what is this? What does this fucking orb look like? Uh, it's it's small. Um, probably the size of like a I don't know, like a ping pong ball or something. It's a small little oh. um crystal orb that gives off sort of a faint glow. Is it a color? Uh, sort of like a warm yellowish white, probably. Um, give me... Chi, give me an arcana check. Alright. <laughs> Damn. That's a three. You don't know. You can tell that it's magical in nature, but you don't know the specifics. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just kind of be like, thank you. And then just, <laughs> and then just walk right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap my forehead to Chi and be like. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, mind link and I'll say, yes. Was that it? Yes, that was it. Um, this is related. I'd appreciate it if you didn't say anything. You have my word. Does it? Okay. <laughs> uh, Revan, you were meditating, correct? Before. Before, but then I, when I heard the commotion, I went up and yes. Lost some coins over to your witcher. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you want to resume your meditation? Or... I would. I would love to. Okay. Um, so you meditate. You pull out this uh, artifact that you have, and you start studying it. Um, give me. I want you to give me two rolls. I want a perception check, and I also want an arcana roll. I don't know how to tell you this, but I got two nat ones. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Amazing. 
Well, as far as you can tell, I hate my life right this now. This thing is the exact same it's always been, and there's really nothing like of note here happening. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> Damn. Oh Fuck. man. Sometimes it, sometimes it be like that. Sometimes honestly. it do. It do be like that, man. Okay. All right. Anybody else doing anything today? A, a yes. A... No. I... <laughs> no. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, oh, you go can. ahead. No, I, I'm writing something down. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to write in the little book to Mortimer. Mm. <laughs> Again, I'm doing this without consulting anyone. But I'm going to say, Hey, Mortimer. We ended up talking about the gods today. Do you know Ash's motivation for getting rid of flying ships? Kind of yeah. weird, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I gotta think about how Mortimer would respond to that. And which Mortimer is Google. I, yeah. Well, I, I also, mean, I'm trying to think though. of like... I'm trying to think of, like, what Mortimer's opinions of that decision actually are. I've never thought about what Mortimer thinks of that. You know? Right, yeah. Glad to give you a challenge. Hee <laughs> hee! He doesn't need to respond right away. Yeah, I'll, I'll stew on it. Uh, Claudia. Yes, okay, I would like to send to Allie. Oh. Uh, and just, you know, and I will say, Isla told me to let you know if, when she kills someone, so be aware <laughs> of that. <laughs> if slash <slept> when. <laughs> just, well, I mean, we've already know, killed people, I know, so. <laughs> I, know, I know, it's just funny. Uh, so be aware of that. She's scared of reverting. You visited last night? <laughs> That's 25 <laughs> words. <laughs> Uh, you hear first a long sigh. <laughs> <laughs> I was simply testing a theory. Don't read too much into it. Bodes well that she's cautious. Perhaps she is a different person. And that's her. That's her thing. His thing. That's his statement. Okay. Oh. Goodness me. All uh, right. Let me think on this Mortimer thing for a second. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, and then you write down what he said. Hmm. It's so funny because like I don't think we ever really I mean, at least in game, who who's to say what happened after? But I know I don't think we ever like told Mortimer like, yo, the fucking gods. This, that, and the other. It was a vote just between y'all. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know how after the fact if we ever cleared that up. I don't know. <clears throat> No, somebody fucking in put instead of school is gone, someone put skirt skirt. <laughs> I've been dying. Skirt skirt. <laughs> this whole time. Uh, okay, so. Do that. Oh, no, that's not. Okay. For some reason, that didn't. Mm. 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. Uh, you uh, see appearing in the book uh, the reply from Mortimer. It reads, um, Ash felt it necessary to destroy the power source of flying ships. They were capable of great power. A reasonable decision, though I would have liked to study them more. That's surprisingly concise coming from Mortimer. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Good job, Mortimer. Good job, me, I guess. <laughs> 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 Um, all right, uh, you can, uh, guys continue your day traveling, um, and you notice, uh, uh, that, um, as the sun is starting to set, the, there are a lot of clouds in the sky, uh, looks like it's gonna be quite the, uh, cloudy night for sure. Um, in the distance you do hear some faint rumbles of thunder. Is anybody doing anything um, this evening? Nothing in particular for me. Attempting to meditate. Attempting <laughs> to meditate. Give me one more perception and arcana roll. Okay, Perception is a 5, Arcana is an 18. Perception, 5. Um, oh, wait. If I have proficiency, that doesn't get me. Never mind. Okay. Okay, um, so perception-wise, nothing about this artifact really seems super different. Um, it kind of gives off this magical pulse, um, but as far as you can tell, uh, it seems to be the same. Um, Arcana check, though, <laughs> um, you are starting to narrow in on... Um, on some of the aspects of this there there is something like it's very similar to the coins in a lot of ways it's this sort of alien kind of magic it's it's not quite the exact same like there are differences but there's something there's some sort of connection there uh, and what you get the most um, from this is is um, this feeling of, of possibly conjuration magic. Okay. So that's what you glean from your meditation. Um, the rest of you guys. Um, you enter into the night. Uh, that's not what I want. I want... Okay. We'll do... We'll do this guy. I was like, what is about to happen? <laughs> I know. I was... Right, right. It's too much. I mean... And, um... Yeah, it's a stormy night. Um... It's nothing like the first night that you guys all kind of got pulled together, but there just seems to be something off. Um, and at some point in the night, uh, um, Vice is going to kind of try to come to you, Isla. Um, hey, uh, I know things are kind of awkward, but I'm, I'm having a real tough time like making out where we are and I you you're generally pretty perceptive. I get up and I'll follow him. Yeah. Um give me uh, a perception check. 
Um, and uh, give it to me at advantage. Nineteen. Nineteen. You understand why he was having trouble figuring out where you guys were, because you can tell that something about the area is is different. You've been traveling along the sort of, like, um, eastern coast, keeping the coast to your left, the port side, and you don't see the coast anymore. Just looks like you're in open ocean, and um, there's just something bizarre. Do I know that any of our magic users, do they have detect magic? Uh, I would love to use detect magic. I'll go get Revan then. Sure. Can you detect any magic in this area? I can't see the coast. We've been traveling, sorry. We've been traveling with the coast. Um, and I see nothing. So I'm wondering if it's some sort of weird magical effect. I don't know. Yeah, let me check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I think Chi's got some detect magic. <laughs> I also do, but, I mean, I don't know if it really benefits having two people cast it versus just one, but... Um. Uh, don't you just Three. know? Don't you just... I'm just a tech man. Don't you just know? Three it's of my last room. four rolls have been a one. Uh, well, you don't roll it. You don't roll it, though. No, I don't think you just... roll for detect magic. You just cast no. it, and you detect if there's magic nearby. Oh, within great! 30... Yeah, within 30 feet of you. <laughs> within 30 feet. Um... <laughs> So, but I would. Yeah. Can you like walk around the edge of the ship, Revan, and see if like anything pings? Yeah, it's like weird. I'll go check. Walking around oh. the edge of the ship, I mean, the usual things ping. Like each of you ping because you all possess magical items or magic itself. Um. Um. And anybody else that's in the crew that possesses magic or magical items would ping as well or any other magical items that are on your person would ping as well um 30 feet is a fairly limited range though so it's it's hard to tell exactly mm -hmm. if there's something else at play here well there's nothing in the immediate vicinity of the ship but I can't really tell far beyond. I mean, I figured it was worth a shot. I don't really know all this magic stuff, you know, so. <sighs> uh, Can I see any sort of guidance from the stars as to, like, where we should be going? Well, or funny. is it just... When you look up at the stars, one is pretty cloudy. It's hard to spot them. Mm -hmm. But when you do glimpse them... Um, they don't really seem familiar to you. At least they're not... Yeah, it's it's like not the stars that you're used to. Are we on a different plane? Oh. Give me another perception oh. check. Nineteen again. You can just barely make out um, what seems to be an island uh, up ahead, and it looks very familiar to you. Dark, craggy rocks. Why are you gonna? I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make sure if anyone's asleep, they're awake now. I'm gonna inform the ship. This is not a good island, y'all. I don't know how we're back here. I don't know what's happening. This is a bad place. We need to avoid that if we can. With that uh, message given to uh, 
the crew. And with uh, all manner of confusion uh, settling in, along with an intense feeling of dread, we're going to end right there. Oh, oh, why God. are we here? No! Why are we here? We were just talking about the coins, too. <laughs> Good news is we got a ship this time. <laughs> well, Bad facts. news is we shipwrecked last time. <laughs> All right, Misfits, and that brings us to the end of tonight's game. To support us, please like and subscribe. Every little bit counts. And other than that, I really hope you enjoyed the session, and I'll see you again next time. <laughs>